Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick reading for the weekend for Twin Flames. I'm just going to be using some basic tarot here. So I do have the fan on because um, it's stinking hot and we only put the AC on at night because we do run off solar power in the day. All right, so I am sitting in my daughter's room. <laughs> uh, everyone's kind of here. My dad was at work earlier and so he's up napping where I usually do readings. So we kind of have to do an accommodation here. But I was getting pulled to do a reading um, and I really want to see what's going on with the masculine. Um, woo, it looks like I'm flying. Um, with the masculine um, energy because I'm feeling like things are shifting a lot. I feel there's a lot of fighting that's been happening lately. Um, if you've been feeling like a very much like union energy and then like um, a quick pullback or you've been feeling like a lot of like uh, dream state stuff, there is something definitely happening. What's going on with this masculine please? So I'm seeing that somebody is trying to untrap themselves right now. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. And so I am definitely seeing like there is a fighting that's happening with a karmic partner. We have Betrayal. So yeah, with the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Betrayal, there's definitely something that's happening here. Um, a Betrayal that they feel betrayed. This karmic partner feels completely betrayed. Why do they feel betrayed, Spirit? Well, they don't want to fight anymore because there's never been um, a leap of faith. So your person may have um, never gone to the next step, whether that's marriage that they want or a proposal or to buy a house together or whatever the state may be, they are not going to the next step. Why, why is this mask not going to the next step? I feel like this karmic energy is completely over it. I'm sorry, I'm like on the bed. So while I'm shuffling and shaking, this is like real time tarot, guys. Real time tarot. And nothing fancy sitting in a third world country doing tarot with you guys. Um, the challenge is their happiness, this masculine, okay, came up sideways. And that's a very challenged energy that um, he's not getting illumination with this person, that he's not getting um, his happiness with this person. Um, and why did he stay here, spirit? Because there was a lot of darkness. We have the moon. There was a lot of darkness that he wasn't fully illuminated to. And what is? And I feel like something's happened. I feel like something financially has happened. I feel like something has broken his trust in whatever he thought was like a good thing. Um, I feel that he's um, definitely like he's not trusting something's happened. Yeah, and the ten of pentacles in reverse just came in reverse. Something maybe with his family. Um, maybe. The karmic has done something with the family, with children, not parenting properly, um, having issues with their children together, or something um, that has been kind of gone under the rug is what I'm hearing. What's gone under the rug here that the masculine's just now picking up? He's seeing something very clearly. What he didn't see before, he's definitely seeing something clearly now. And what is he seeing clearly? Yeah, that's why the foundation, the Four of Wands, is falling apart here. Um... I'm seeing that he, I was going to pull another deck, but I feel that um, a lot of his investments, I wouldn't be surprised if the Seven of Pentacles shows up, I'm seeing a lot of his investments haven't been, um, it hasn't been fairly, um, how can I say, like, I almost feel like this masculine says, okay, I'll put the money in if you do the brunt work. Or, you know, I'll put the money in if you, you know, call these people. It's almost like a business went under or an investment into a business went under or an investment in their home went under or they did some stocks and bonds or something. But whatever his karmic person was supposed to do was to do the follow-up, was to do the action, was to do the business plan, was supposed to do something. What was it that the karmic didn't follow through on? She didn't know how to bring that 10th cup forward. So that 10th cup is like spirit. So it may have been the heart in it, the the intention, um, where the masculine, what, where is the masculine coming from in regards to this? Yeah, he needed this type of commitment. Um, it was like a proof for him um, that if she could do this work, then he knew that they could work well together. This is what I'm seeing. I almost feel like this masculine is kind of testing this, this person out. And if they've been in a marriage or something like that, I feel like, at the, you know, at the, towards the end of the marriage, we're just kind of bringing up, like, when I left my ex-husband, you know, I gave him, like, a year to, like, plan, like, our wedding anniversary and whatever, and he just couldn't even do that. Like, he couldn't do any kind of planning. Like, I just had to do everything. Like, 
financial and everything. Like, I'm like, we can't even plan our our wedding anniversary. So, like, I knew, like, it was a test, you know, for myself and for him. And I feel like this is what this masculine was doing, to know if he was going to move it to the next level of a higher level of commitment. And what happened with this masculine? What was this test that fell through? Yeah, it formed a just. It came out with the justice. It helped him form um, a, a king of cups a decision, and um, he let his guard down. I think feel like he almost put gave her a time period, and this karmic energy couldn't do it. And now they're fighting because this uh, masculine wants to untrap himself. And why is this karmic so bitter? She's very a bitter woman. She's very bitter, very bitter. Okay, um, as the devil comes out, okay, a very bitter woman. She's doing a lot of black magic, you guys. So if you're having um, things happen um, in your in your life and <clears throat> you're waking up with like a pain or something's just unexplainable and you feel off, there's definitely something about that. I would pray Christ is like the best teacher to get rid of dynamic forces. So I do work with Christ the only one I work with to get rid of genomic forces. And um, <clears throat> my throat, she's doing something to try and stifle communication. What is this karmic doing with this black magic to stifle communication here? She knows that there is a decision that's going to be towards the Queen of Cups and a renewal for the Empress. So she's trying to stifle something. She's trying to get in between with her black magic. What is her black magic spirit? Yeah. So she's um, not healing. Uh, she doesn't. She can't heal anymore. She doesn't want to heal anymore. Um, she knows the separation is coming to an end, but I don't feel this black magic is working anymore. Um, I feel that the masculine is aware. Is the masculine aware of this black magic? Is this masculine aware of this black magic? Oh, he knows the truth of the situation. Yes, he does. He found out something. He may have also known that she was playing in things that she shouldn't have been playing in and doing curses and doing things against his empress. And that's why he's not actioning anything anymore. What did he know? He knows that she did something to end their connection. So there was something in the energy that kind of... Uh, that he's gained clarity in his mind. It's almost like psychologically damaging to him. Yeah, that's why he's putting an end to it, the death card, okay? So they're fighting over something a lot. I feel like this weekend there's going to be definitely, like, a, an ending. I'm going to pull some of these card, oracle cards. Um, what is going on with the, the Divine Masculine that I'm picking up and the Karmic Energies of Spirit? What um, is this energy that I'm picking up? What is happening this weekend? I think this whole eclipse and everything that's happened. Yeah, look at this. The truth is definitely coming out this weekend. So I think there's going to be a storm between the two of them. If it hasn't already been, I think it's going to be like an even bigger storm. And I'm sorry that this camera sucks. I'm using my laptop. Okay. Sorry, my phone died. Um, and there's a lot of truth that's going to be coming out here. Um, I'm going to use these the two-sided um, tarot to just clarify. There's a lot of truth that um, they're going to be talking about. This is why they're fighting. I don't understand why this karmic energy is, I feel, in it for... Um, she doesn't want to put any work into the situation. She doesn't want to put any work into the situation. Why doesn't she want to put work into the situation? I feel like she's just a privileged person. Why doesn't she actually want to work? Because she doesn't know how is what I'm hearing. Oh, she lied. She made herself seem a lot bigger to the masculine than what she really was. She said she had all these gifts. She said that she knew how to like run a business. She said that she knew how to do all of this social media stuff. She said that she knew how to do the banking. She said that she, and she doesn't really. Thank you. Spirit is saying that she's had a, a lot of trouble in her life just, oh. Some of your karmic, your person's karmics are, like, very good looking, and they just get bad by the girl books. I was going to say, like, if there's not... Yeah. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So I don't know. Spirit's saying being a little bit... You know how 
when you're a child and the really intelligent Gabby ones are just always like, no, 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 questioning, no, 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 and, and, and the other girls can't really keep up with you, and all they have are their looks, and they just go by by being like, and they always like, you know, I don't have to appeal like the situation, you know, like the mean girl thing, she's a mean girl, this, and she doesn't have to be like supermodel hot or looking like that or anything, but even if she's not that attractive, she's got something that she knows how to manipulate the energy completely, she completely already knows how to manipulate the energy. So she doesn't know how to do the work and the level of work that this masculine was wanting to build with her. And and how did she come across here, Spirit, in regards to... Um, that's not what I want to ask. I want to ask if they're fighting for the truth now. So what is going to be revealed in the truth in regards to this karmic? What is going to be revealed? Inspiration. Okay. <clears throat> that all she had was inspiration. She had a desire. She was hoping that maybe he would fall in love with her, and um, that would be enough, just to hook him. It was a hook. And what is this masculine realizing the truth about this, this karmic partner? He's realizing a lot of the falsity here. He's realizing he's he, that through all of this, he's had to accept himself. We have a nine and another nine, two nines, 27, which is a nine, divine light. He's gained, like, the complete abundance and awareness of this um, situation um, with her, and um, he's had to really accept himself um, to do all the work. It's almost like he didn't realize he could do, he already had a full plate, you know, with everything else that he was doing, and then he didn't think that he could actually, like, do more, and he actually can do more. <laughs> um, and so that's the truth that, that's coming out here, and he's realizing, like, why do I need you? Why are you here? <laughs> That's basically it. I remember thinking that about my ex-husband. Like, why are you here? Like, you do nothing. You do absolutely do everything. Like, why are you here? <laughs> um, yeah, so let's let's see what truth is coming out here for this masculine. What truth? I'm going to use this tarot now. Why is this masculine? What truth is coming out for this masculine? There's going to be a big um, fight here, you guys. We have the Six of Swords. It's been, um, he's moving on. We have the Six of Swords. He's moving on and he's ending with the four of wands in reverse. He's ending uh, again. That's the second time that card's come out. He's breaking down a foundation for the, the fool for a brand new beginning because this is a gold digger, okay? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's, she's definitely not somebody that um, I don't feel that is the Divine Feminine. He's realizing that she was just in it for the nice jewelry and the plastic surgeries and the money and the trips and the oh and we can just have sex and i almost feel like she's trying to tempt him sexually what is the karma going to be trying to do to maintain this yeah she's going to try and um the truth is going to come out okay so she is going to hear the truth and she's going to try and manipulate the situation here with their commitment, right? They, they're in a, in a in some type of commitment. How is she going to try and manipulate the truth, her spirit? When this truth comes out, what is she going to do? Oh my God, the cards are just... Ah. How is this karmic energy going to um, negate the truth and this marriage? The truth of this marriage, the truth of this commitment, the truth of this living together or whatever they're doing um, to negate this... Well, she's going to try and persuade him to get off the path that he's on. Everything's going to come to a halt. Okay, everything's going to come to a halt. And she's going to try and persuade him to come get off the path. Page of, of Wands in Reverse. Get off the path that he's going on. She doesn't want it. She's going to say, I've been juggling everything. The Two of Pentacles. I've been the one that's been juggling everything. I'm the one that's doing all the investing. What is this karma going to say? Yeah, she's going to be uh, <sighs> fighting for this. The Five of Wands, okay, for her happiness. She's not giving up easy. And how is this masculine going to respond to that? She's not going to go up. She's going to probably try and persuade him. But I feel like he's pretty much over it. He's turning his back here. Two of Wands, he's made his decision. Two of Wands in reverse. So he's made his decision that um, he's blocking her. He knows it's emotional manipulation, okay? He's completely aware of the emotional manipulation, and he is going to reject her. 
Okay, page of cups in re page of sorry pentacles in reverse. So there ain't much hope here. Um, so I feel it's all of this lunar eclipse stuff that's been happening. There's going to be a lot of fighting this weekend. I feel somebody may actually move out. I'm going to use this Earth Oracle deck to see what else is coming up. Um, there, there a lot more truth is going to be revealed. This masculine is going to just accept what he knows about himself and what he wants to do in his life. And um, I don't think he's going to listen or believe anything that this that this uh, energy that this energy is what I call the karmic the energy. It's not even a person anymore with this um, third party or this karmic energy is dealing with. So let's take a look. Um, what uh, what is the masculine going to be? confronting the, um, the third party about he's really um, about his expectations weren't met in this um, connection and how is that karma going to respond he really felt that there was a lot more that meets the eye and she's pretty basic just gonna be honest like a pretty like pretty basic you know when you're a divine feminine you got your shit together you know you got you have everything like I say that to people it's like Divine feminines are multi-talented, you know, um, you just are. And her response is that she's been stretched in this. She's been trying. I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying to be like, and I can't do it. But she needs him, you know. Oh, God, I can just hear the whining in my head. It just, ugh. like, ugh. And try, and he used to have sympathy for that, but I think he's like so over those emotional games now. And I'm also hearing like he's like, yeah, but I had expectations. His expectation spirit. He's like, I want a renewal. We have judgment here, and it's failed. Okay, like the six of wands in reverse with judgment. He's like, I want a renewal, and this has failed multiple times. Like I, I have doubts now. This is not happening, and. You're stretching yourself, even the way you stretch is not even enough, and she's like, but I'm willing to give to the situation. It's not enough, though. She's like, I'm offering you my cup, and I'm giving, and I will stretch, and I'll grow, and I'll learn, but, you know, she wants this relationship so badly, but the commitment has ended, okay? She's trying to hold her balance and patience, uh, knowing that this um, the past is closing off because of a lovers, because this is the six of cups in reverse with the lovers, because a union is coming. That's going to be moving forward with the chariot card. And there's some been harsh communication about that, that there's more curiosity, more to be revealed. And she can't measure up to a divine feminine. Sorry about that. And, um, it's just how it is. And, and this is the thing, you guys, everybody has to know their place. And, She's a, she's a, sorry, she whining? sorry, like, why is she whining about, I'm sorry, things are not manifesting the way that she desired them to be manifesting, she tried to manipulate the situation, you guys, and this mask was completely aware of it, she's been in it for the money, she's been in it for the investment, she never put her end of the work in, she may have done, like, the very bare minimum to show, you know, that she was meeting his expectations, but that never happened, she didn't create no business plan, she didn't, she didn't, um, put the, the, you know, the, the leap of faith in, she never did the actual work, okay, it was all gossip, gossip, games, games, and this masculine didn't see anything coming to fruition, now spirit is telling you, your masculine isn't watching you, and watching how you've grown since your separation, that you have grown so much, to bring up like my own situation here is in comparison, you know, since I've been masculine, I've learned three instruments, like, <laughs> I, and I've run ceremonies, like, what have you done? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like, that's the stagnancy, right? That's because when you're with karmic energies, it doesn't move quick enough, right? So, Spirit is saying that, that they want to say that they notice the feminine. I'm going to just pull some messages here for the feminine now, because I feel the masculine coming through for you guys to bring some messages for you guys. And your masculine is noticing you on a really big level, divine feminine, noticing the growth that you've done, the energy that that you've been putting out is completely different. They're feeling, you know, damn, what did I do? I, I, I have to put my, I put my foot in my mouth, my dog, my tail, dog tail between the legs, like he feels like crap. 
this masculine towards his divine feminine this weekend. I feel like this argument that's about to happen um, is a is an after effect of this eclipse. And what is also happening is this masculine is going to give him the um, to completely come forward to his, to his feminine. So let's take a look here. Um, this karmic energy is definitely going to do everything in their power to um, keep this from happening. But again, um, if you don't believe in the black match, I mean, not that you don't believe in it, but if you can ascend beyond those types of attachments to do your healing and work with higher consciousness like Christ, then those things aren't going to bother you, okay? I mean, they'll be uncomfortable, but they won't get to you, okay? So let's take a look and see what is the masculine towards the feminine this weekend after this, like, blow up, okay? Wow. Notice how we have the um, Queen of Pentacles up right now before for the karmic energy was in reverse because it's the fake car. It's the fake person. <laughs> um, this is ending his pain. He's looking up and saying, I don't want to feel this pain anymore. This is too painful. I want my stable divine feminine here. And this fight with the karmic and this situation is pushing him to move forward a lot faster towards the divine feminine. The karmic energy does definitely feel that. And um, the tower is definitely about to fall. Okay, so he's awakened. He's completely awakened to this. He um, has had non-reciprocal energy. Um, he knows that what he's, his worth has really shown in this connection because he was doing all of the work. He is completely exhausted, you guys. Humbled and exhausted. Um, will he communicate within a week, Garrett? Some of you may get come out, out the Knight of Swords with the with the Ace of Cups. Some of you may get communication within a week, okay, from this weekend. So give it to another like seven to ten days. I feel some of you will get communication that just came out. Spirit of want me to uh, validate that for you guys. And uh, any other messages here for the Divine Feminines that are watching? There is going to be an offer. Okay, for some of you, there will definitely be an offer. So keep your boundaries up. There definitely is something that is happening. He, he If he reaches you out within the, in the last week, there is something massive that has, you know, just fallen, something that has completely broken down. Um, he's still working out some stuff with this karmic. I feel like he's working out a house situation. He's passionately coming in. But what is he still working out with the karmic energy? Yeah, he's still untrapping himself here, okay? Um, he sees the way out, but he's not quite out yet. And that's how it came out. So you notice the bird. He's seeing the way out. He's noticing that he can untrap himself, but he's not quite out yet. So remember, Divine Feminines, to set your boundaries and know um, yeah, this is where he's at. He's sad, the Emperor with the Four of Cups. So he's sad about what he's lost with you. Completely sad about what he's lost with you. I love this piece of hair. Woo! I'm playing uh, like completely have like lost I feel like I'm playing <laughs> um, completely has lost um and lost you and feels completely regretful and very sad about the situation and what will he say to the divine feminine let's just go a little deeper he's like I'm sorry sorry I manipulated the situation and I want a new beginning with you because um it's I'm unstable here nothing's manifesting for me I'm completely unstable he doesn't have the finances I feel he feels very shameful that he has nothing to maybe give to the feminine right now but he definitely wants to work on something he's um opening up and coming out of his hermit he's gone within he's going to tell you I found you inside of me and I'm opening willing to open my heart now and in his message to you divine feminine he's also going to say you know, I want to end this conflict and I want to finish this fighting that we've been doing. It's just been too abrupt for me. Five, five. Okay. A lot of changes. Okay. So he doesn't want to fight anymore. He's going to come on humble me <laughs> because he wants you. Destiny. The star. Beautiful reading, you guys. I hope you love that little tidbit. I'm sorry that I'm not in my usual place, but you can have some fun with it, right? So I'm sending you guys so much. Actually, let me get you like one mu one more card. Spirit wants me to pull one more from here for you guys and what he wants with his divine feminine. All right. He's coming to this awareness. He's still investigating. I keep hearing investigating this karmic energy. Whatever she did, she may have like stashed the money away or 
I almost see for some of you in a small, not this isn't for all of you, that he gave her some money to invest. And she may have only put in something like 25% of the investment and pocketed the rest or, oh no, okay, put in 75 and kept the 25% for herself kind of deal. And uh, whatever she took it made up so much more or something, or she's carefully swindling money out of an account where it was unnoticeable to the masculine, but he caught wind of it. Um, I'm also hearing there may have been a pregnancy scare where she tried to have a baby. That's only for some of you as well as well but let's see how this masculine is feeling towards the feminine for oh i wasn't ready for that but formation came out i'll show you what came out formation things are starting to form i'll keep it out and one more for the feminine i wasn't quite ready for that one he's listening to his intuition so something is starting to form here I, i'm sorry guys i'm just keep going i want to find out about this money what did i uh, what did this um what is this money I'm feeling that the karmic energy swindled money? Sorry, guys. I know I was ending this, but I'm like, what is what is this? Wow. The king of pentacles, his stability. He was working hard on his stability. He was working on his stability, and she did something to his financial stability. It became very imbalanced here. Wow. There was some type of loss. Four of cups. Some type of loss here with money and the stuff that he's been working on. And um, what did the karmic gain from this invest? Something about the money. Either that they got the house that they didn't even invest in. Um, nothing was healing. That's why they have to move forward now. The star in reverse. It was completely the opposite of anything fulfilling. Um, and she wanted to move on quickly. And didn't want to look at her options. So she made it her own option. She made up her mind. Something happened here that maybe when the masculine's energy wasn't leveling up or moving fast enough, she swindled or did something to keep herself comfortable in case if he does leave that she's got more. Something like that for some of you. And then for others, there's a pregnancy scare that she tried to get pregnant and went off her birth control pills. Some of you, some of them put pills in the condom. Some, some, okay, not all. But there are some psychotic women that do that shit. And there's something that's happened here. Um, yeah, the passion with the King of Swords in reverse. Um, to get a commitment with the Hierophant is here. Okay, so there's something in regards to the passion stopped. Uh, and he completely went cold on her and narcissistic because of this passion. The passion stopped suddenly. Okay, and... Um, there was a lesson here. There was a lesson with the with the this pregnancy scare. I got a whole bunch that came out. The King of Cups with the with the cause the ending and the end of this relationship. Wow. So for some of you, there was a pregnancy scare and this mask was like, I have in that shit. No way. And um that's another th reason why there was a decision and that was ended as well. So there's some manipulative things that were happening here and there's more of a fighting that's happening. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, if you guys want to read all that info is down below. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think, if this resonated with you. I'd love to hear whose story this is. Um, if you know, you'll know, right? Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for, for bearing with me sitting in my, in my daughter's room. Bye.